Ladies and gentlemen, it is about to begin again. Are we ready to start all over? Start afresh, start anew? I believe it's true for you and you. Maybe not you, but you next to him. I think you're ready too. This is the Rivertown Revival. It's not the Rivertown Denial. It's not the Rivertown On Trial. It's not the Rivertown Full of Bile. It's the Revival. Are you ready to get revived? Can I have a yeah? Can I have a goddamn hallelujah? Hallelujah. No, I said goddamn hallelujah. Put it together. Let's do it again. Goddamn hallelujah. All right. We're about to have a nice ceremony here on our best behavior for Patricia and John. Are we ready for that? Yeah! We will begin with a small, brief narrative prepared for me by them, which I will interpret as best I can. In 2011, Patricia was a single woman living alone in a big house with her big dog, and the house next door was sold to a gregarious couple who entertained frequently included Patricia in their many dinners and social events. I'm going to skip ahead. <laughs> John was a widower and a good friend of the couple, having known them for 10 years. At one such event, Patricia was impressed by John's intelligence, his sense of humor, and his southern gentleman manners. John was impressed by Patricia's knowledge of what to do with silverware between courses. <laughs> well, that's an endorsement, right? <laughs> or orzo salad and her blue nail polish, which is very cool. <laughs> which you have on today, I see. Okay. Their first date included cocktails on the roof of a restaurant in San Jose at sunset and a movie. They saw Midnight in Paris, Woody Allen's probably arguably best film in the last 10 years, 15 years, I'd say, starring Owen Wilson, he goes to Paris and he meets Hemingway and Hemingway says, you're brave, I'm not brave enough. And all this stuff happens. They fell in love to that movie. And they both loved the film. They laughed at the same scenes and compared notes on their previous visits to the City of Light, which is Paris, by the way. Little did they know at the time that they would make several trips to Paris together, staying in their favorite hotel, the Louis Du. John and Patricia found they enjoyed spending time together. I would say so after all those trips to Paris. I would hope that would be the case at that point. They love travel, they love to dine out, get dressed up and go dancing at the Fairmont Hotel, discovering art and music opportunities and exploring new adventures. Personal values and philosophies about life, joy, hardship, and death of loved ones seem to be in sync. John had retired from the aerospace industry years before, and Patricia retired, retired from her job as a hospital administrator, and it was time to leave busy Silicon Valley. I would say so, I would say so. John had his eye on Petaluma for quite some time as a place to settle in, and soon Patricia loved the town as much as John did. How could you not? Do I have a yeah for Petaluma? Yeah, yeah Petaluma! Yeah. They appreciated the countryside, the farm animals, the quiet neighborhoods, the river, such as it is. <laughs> they appreciated the countryside, the farm animals, I read that part, as well as various <laughs> cultural offerings and all the great places to eat. They moved here in 2014 and never want to leave. Well, we're not going to let them, are we? We're going to keep them right here. Where? Pan Where? Pan Luma. Pan a goddamn Luma. John proposed to Patricia in April 2017 on the pedal in the bridge, tricking her into thinking he wanted to look at the egrets flying to roost in the trees along the river. <laughs> Egrets or regrets? <laughs> <laughs> of course, she said a resounding yes. Can I have a yes? Yeah. Yes. And here we are today. There could be no better setting than the Rivertown Revival for the marriage, their ceremony, and their celebration of a new life together here in where? Yeah. Yeah.